Hey everybody, Will Tompkins here at Tom Cruise Studios, live music in Austin, bringing you episode number nine of Three Beers and a Whiskey. This one featuring A.D. Hernandez and Curtis Lee. Here's beer number one. All right, well, thank y'all very much for joining us tonight. Will Tompkins here at Tom Cruise Studios, live music in Austin. Tonight, for another episode of Three Beers and a Whiskey, I have joining me A.D. Hernandez, and I have Curtis Lee, and of course, working the bar on the internet over there is the beautiful Miss Lovely Miss Cruz Tompkins. She'll be serving us tonight and she'll be uh, filtering any of the questions y'all have on the internet. Go ahead and ask, post up your comments, complaints, whatever, yeah. and uh, she'll, uh, she'll hand it off to us. So, gentlemen, thank y'all very much Cheers, for uh, joining. Cheers, you, my friend, are just in town for a short length of time, right? You just made it bounce in. To, yeah, um, just uh, usually when I come in town, I try to supposed to show up somewhere. Yeah. Did you, or I do did, some work. This have, this time I'm I'm not actually performing with uh, one of my groups, but I am subbing. <laughs> yeah, that's terrible. You gotta you gotta hustle, man. I gotta always try to plan it. I'll try to tour, you know, cool. all the way here or around and just that way I can well, you know, make it happy. Worth, yeah. You know, that 13 hours in between. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, super happy that, you know, when, when you posted up, uh, I guess it's been maybe a month or yeah, several sure. weeks and you know, I was looking at, and I already talked to Curtis about like, hey man, we want to get a show for January. Here's my dates. I really want to get you to come sit down with me and your band. And Curtis was like, yeah. And I was like, which we still do. That's yeah. um, but then you posted up and I was like, I just did the show with Ben Davis and Anthony from yeah. Come and Take It. Guys, thank you all very much for visit, the visit, whiskey visit. that we're going to be drinking here in a little bit. Um, and uh, and then you know you're on my page. You're like oh, I'm coming to town, and anybody have some gigs I can sit in? And I was all, well, I don't want to take money away from him if he's got a gig, but let me hit him up and see if he'll come sit down, and drink some beer, and whiskey, and yeah. talk about Thank like you. you know life and Austin and sure. well, where where are you staying at right now? I'm in Nashville now. Nashville. So uh, so what what took you from uh, from Austin? Because um, I know I mean. The heebie-jeebies, the ADH project. I mean, that's you know, that's like a, a bloodline for us here in Austin. I mean, that's some of the thank you, you know, damn that. good stuff. Um, and then you kind of go, you do your own. Yeah, thing. it was. Uh, I mean, it wasn't like um, it was weird. I wasn't like it wasn't the Jim Watson kind of thing. No, I wasn't really plotting and planning. You know what I mean? It was. It wasn't like a. Uh, you know, something that like forced me, like oh, I gotta get out of here yeah. or something. It just, uh, I don't know, man. Uh, I wanted to tr just wanted to give it a try. In fact, I, w I was only supposed to go for two months. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing how things work out like that, right? So, man. <laughs> but didn't you? Oh, so, are you recording or did you do some recording? Like, yes. Okay, I thought okay. so. I thought you were posting, talking so, about that. So, right before. Before I moved, I was in the process of cat, you know, cataloging some songs. Mm -hmm. We had put out the uh, Spectrum album uh, almost a year and had been out. And then I was, uh, you know, just putting new songs, thinking about the process, how we were going to record another album, where we were going to go to record the album, well, just the just process. And we had started touring from the Spectrum album and with ADH Project, and we were trying to find producers that we could work with all over the U.S. Right that we thought fit certain songs that we were working on. So nice. that took us to Seattle, that took us, you know, Damn. just kind of moved us around. I sent a song to Chicago, and we started working with this guy, Benny Ramos, and then it just kind of started taking us into these other pockets. And my idea was, uh, if I can get in these little circles, that would open up a situation for me touring more, mm -hmm. and just sure. just working with other people, you know, outside of my, get off my island. Right, you know? yeah, and that's... Yeah. So yeah, that's kind of how that whole thing started with me having that like idea of just reaching out, you know, and, and uh, working with other people. Mm -hmm. But um, the last step was, you know, I wanted to get to Nashville to work with some people, and I'd been there previously with Deheebs. Okay. Deheebs, yeah. we we were there. We got signed to Creative Artists and CA uh, um, Creative Artists, and we had labels, you know kind of chomping at the bit, uh -huh. and we went on tour for, you know, most of the, about a year and a half, and I was already staying in, in Nashville, but that was in 05, 04, 05. Okay, wow, okay. So, Nashville was still, you in know, blood. predominantly country yeah. at the time. Okay. So, you know, I just wanted to see what it was like now, you know. Uh, 
and has it changed years later? Yeah, and has it changed? I mean, how dramatic is it? Or it definitely has changed. I mean, uh, friendlier to non-country. Sure. I mean, uh, if you look at if you look at uh, Nashville as a whole, um, there's a lot of like, I mean, Memphis and all the little mm-hmm. areas. There's 13 markets all within a uh, three-hour uh, radius. You know, it's like it's it's really compact. The area. It's a big hub. Uh-huh. So you get all kinds of music. Um, but the industry there is predominantly country. Okay, and that's I'm laughing, smiling because I'm thinking like coming from Austin, you grew up around here, yeah, right? Man. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the soul here, man. Yeah. It's, it's, so, but it's funny is we in Texas, especially Central Texas, we're used to like, oh, hey, let's go take a trip, and we're like an hour down the road to San Antonio. No problem. We're used to that every day. Two yeah. hours to Houston. Sure. Let's go to Dallas. Three hours road day trip. Up yeah, and yeah. back. Yeah. So driving is, it, is a part of your. It's, yeah, it's our existence here, right? Yeah, uh, yeah definitely, so, definitely. So going to Nashville is. Did that take like a little altering of your like? It's not three hours to get somewhere. Yeah. I mean, um, I was trying to go like it was across a, state lines in three hours. You're in. You're in another market, and that that was really the. I mean. When I got there, I went to go record with some people. Like, uh-huh. I mean, I had a plan to go a couple of months, check it out. I wanted to get us, you know, ADH some kind of like. I just knew I needed to be where the hub was and where everyone was, all the industry right. was. So I was like, I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna kind of work my way around, find you know, a, a, an agency that'll, you know, put us out on the road. Shop, shop yourself. Shop, shop yeah, yourself. and that was kind of the the in, you know the initial idea to go and just do that, and then okay. you know, and still have Austin as my home and. My hub. Always be your home. And man. Always, always love it. You. you just true. what uh was it for? Okay, wasn't the was it the Led Zeppelin show that you guys yes. when we yeah, did the okay. reunion? That yeah, show. that was okay. That was yeah. sorry. Y'all didn't go out there and didn't see this <laughs> and make it. That was and I, I don't. I was. I knew we were gonna go for the Led Zeppelin thing, and I don't know what, why, how, but I got there early, and Greg, where Greg? What's up? Hey, um, Greg Destiny. Uh, it was like. You know, I'll pay my bar time. <laughs> <laughs> Give it up for Greg and Destiny. Hell yeah, yeah, yeah. Allowing us all to be able to, you know. That's our home. They really that let us musicians kind of, I mean, they love music. Uh, but they, they let love us love really kind of. And it's, you know what, it's not, the, it, it's you guys, the musicians, that they love, they appreciate, they do a lot for you guys. But I'll say from my side of being in on the floor and standing up there looking at you guys in the light, they do they really respect some of the really hardcore fans. Sure. And really, you know, because Greg shows me a lot of love for, you know, and I'm Dude. just like, I just come in here and I'm taking pictures and talking about your club. And yeah, yeah. so. I mean, they, they recognize um, what made them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't get back to. A lot of venues get, they, you know, they'll, they'll allow the, the looseness at the door. And then once they get popping, they're like, shut it oh, off. Oh, yeah. You know? But, and, and Greg and Destiny did, and they know who their hardcore, you know, who who really is helping them develop what they're what they're helping their them. Is, you know yeah. what I mean? It's like yeah, but you know, he got that work ethic back from Danny Crooks, oh, sure. man. That was that's, Danny. I was uh, about to say like that <laughs> is the old the old blueprint, you know. Steamboat. Um, Steamboat. I would go all the time, and you know, I'd be broke, <laughs> but yeah. I knew I could get in. <laughs> I, you know, I, yeah, <laughs> of course. I mean, they always knew like. You know, I always knew like, no matter who was playing, no matter what the, if I was broke and, you know, I could at least go, you know, do those sad faces and let me in and, you know. <laughs> but it all comes back around, man. It always comes back around. So, yeah. Um, Since y'all are doing shout outs to, you know. Greg and yeah. Steve and everybody else. So, we want to do a, a shout out to the live studio audience. Oh, yeah. Go Wings Up! <laughs> so, so on uh, YouTube, Facebook, uh, this is probably this the biggest house crowd we've had for a show. Uh, Cody Bryan was our first show, and there was a lot of people in here for that. But there was there's a lot of people here right now, y'all, and y'all are missing out because the tacos later, and you're not going to get any. Uh, so, <laughs> and then we also want to we'll give a photo. shout out to uh, our internet crowd. Uh-huh. So say hello to Lauren hey. Lyman. Hello, Lauren. Hey, Lauren. <laughs> Hey. And Blanca Curtis. Hi, Blanca. Hi, Blanca. All right. So, yeah, we got some people in the there. Yeah. Uh, Craig's mom. <laughs> um, I got some questions on.
want to ask you in a minute, but sure. I'll, I'll, you're, yeah. you're sitting over there all nice and quiet and sipping yeah. a beer. Yeah. What, uh, what, so how, <laughs> you know what, this is for both of you. So how did, how did you find each other? Because it was heebie-jeebies, right? <laughs> or was there something so before even... Man, we played T-ball. No. <laughs> <laughs> he hit the ball and run to third base, and he's like, "No, the other way." <laughs> no, he taught me, man. Yeah, he owed me money. That's what it was. There we go. He's been following me since second grade for the two thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Give me my two dollars. Eventually, eventually, I'm gonna get up on. <laughs> so, so how did how the Man, he was doing yeah, bumper. So right? yeah. so so I had a cover band back yeah. in uh, 04, 05 or whatever, and wow. yeah, this right. long time ago. Uh, but uh, not I was doing 14, that. Not 2014. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but I was just going, and then he, you were with Everyday People at the time, Ooh. right? Wow. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yep. So and and so he came and see me, and, and you know they come and see the bumps, and yeah. then whatever. And then, I, what happened after that? How did well, we... Well, the truth... Okay, okay here's, yeah, how, here we yeah. go. Here's the truth story. The truth story. What happened behind the music? What had happened was... <laughs> no, I mean, we, we knew it was... Uh, I knew he was already playing, and the, his group, The Bump, you know, they were doing really well. They were they were catching a good vibe around town, and everyday people was at a point where the drummer... We were touring, but the drummer couldn't tour. Yeah. Ooh. So we were scouting... Their drummer. <laughs> yeah, that's what it was. <laughs> Trying to yes. po drummer poach it. Hey. <laughs> it's all right. But, you know, uh, at, you know, some time went by and uh, the bumps, I guess you guys were starting to, the guitar player left. Or yeah. Something. So, like, you know, they started kind of to slow down a little bit and uh, we had an opportunity to. And yeah. so that he grabbed his drummer. Was, was, was everyday that? people. It was everyday people. They yeah. just kind of. Man, I got. Uh, uh, I was just there. <laughs> I was, in fact, uh, my daughter is is joining us tonight. First time hey. she's sitting on three beers of whiskey. It was Fourth of July festival at Carlos and Charlie's. Oh, uh, yeah. 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 yeah! I already and, know what you're talking uh, about. Yeah, and uh, Vallejo. Bunch of bands. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it was Aimless Gun back then, which is now the Cody Bryan band. Oh, yeah. Aimless Gun was playing, and they were like, "Hey, come in as our guest," and you know, and I was, okay, cool. And then it was the, that lineup was sick Damn. lineup, and we were catching one song like from everybody that would perform. Let's let's just video one song of them performing, but. I posted up a video of the VHS. TVs and <laughs> VHS. and so I go back and I get like my YouTube is getting me notifications and, and I get a message saying, Hey, who posted this? All the caps and exclamation point and I was all like, Is it Oh it was you. Was you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <me>. <laughs> I was like, uh, Who yeah, did yeah, I did it, man. Oh my you. god, thank you so much. I'm glad you called. That was kind of the first time I actually right uh, ran into you guys, and then it just was then at one one on fifth and yeah. Dirty Dog, and you know everywhere we all go to. Dude, that Fourth of July show was the funniest thing because like um, they told us while you are performing. We're gonna have to break for the fireworks. <laughs> oh, it was in your but nobody knew. It. Yeah. But nobody knew. Oh. Nobody knew when the fireworks were gonna go off. Yep. So like we're in the middle of a song, we're all like, ah, we're Get no getting at it, and then like, ba 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 ba. And people were running on stage. Ah! <laughs> and we're like, you know, I don't know what's happening. And I remember Omar was like, I think he was. The one that was at least dictating to me, I don't think he was in charge. But, <laughs> uh, uh, Omar's uh, always in charge. Uh, yeah. He's like, uh, something's gonna happen with the fireworks, just be ready. We're like, yeah, that sounds okay. like, yeah, all right. So we never knew, so like, we were in the middle of, of a song and uh, the mayhem started so... going off. So I always remember that because it was like the most. Uh, yeah, that really was. And then it was kind of, it was like all, and there was, it's not like we were drinking any beer before we started. <laughs> I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, so. I'll interrupt though. Okay, go ahead. Uh, we have an internet question. Oh, oh all right. right. There we go. Uh, so you've moved to Nashville. Yeah. Uh, what does your 2019 schedule look like uh, for you and your band? Or Music, life. Yeah. 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 Okay. Come uh, February, releasing, I guess I should be on. Yes. Come February. <laughs> uh, 
Come February, yeah, we'll one of those two up there. <laughs> another record, um, we we just released uh, four months ago, ADH. Lonely World, yes, okay. ADH is called Lonely World, it was a five song EP. Woo. Uh, I put that out for, um, hey. yeah. <laughs> Um, but in February we're going to do another release of another five songs and um, just start touring with that. You know, it's, um, yeah. and so that's uh, that's the goal right now. Is just that's get the that goal. Done. Yeah. Are the songs yeah. recorded in, in the they're recorded. Recorded. They're, okay. already, they're already pretty much done right now. I'm trying to figure out how to uh, how to push it, promote it, and right. already kind of sending it well, out. Here's to part of it. Sam. Here we go. There you go, right here, man. Will Tompkins, from me and everybody here at Three Beers and a Whiskey. Thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, make sure if you uh, like what you saw, you hit the thumbs up button. If you didn't like what you saw, hit the thumbs up button. Uh, subscribe and also click on the notification bell so that you won't miss future videos from Three Beers and a Whiskey. Thank you all very much.